Good morning, everyone. I am here because God has laid something on my heart twice, and I think it's time for me to express what that is. And that thing is for those individuals who are going through being oppressed by the satanic world I am here for encouragement for you to let you know that I understand and that I know what you're going through because I have also been through it myself and as I was going through it I was very angry so angry where I wanted to fight some of the people um, but there was one day where God has showed me to fall down to the feet of Jesus and cry out to him and as I heard him say that his voice and presence alone made me cry so you will have some pride that may come up some anger a whole lot of unwanted emotions that does not allow God to work through you and the spirit of the Antichrist knows this so I'm here to say cry out to Jesus fall down to his feet and cry out to him he knows the pain that you're going through he knows the hurt he knows the anger the frustration all of it cry out to him so that he can fight that we don't have the power to fight that unless he has anointed us to fight those spirits but as you're going through it especially from what i have seen that i needed to go through that because there was a lot of situations where I wanted to say something to the people but God would shut my mouth I would forget what I was about to say and then before I knew it as I got into my quiet place that I would just cry out to God and just ask him like why can't I say anything I want to say something and that alone just made me just continue to cry out to him because I knew what I saw. I know what I'm feeling that is not of God. I feel the oppression coming over me. I feel these strong, ugly emotions that I know that it's not normal. This isn't me. <clears throat> but I got through it. And I didn't get through it because... Of myself I got through it because of Jesus Christ and the power of the Holy Spirit because when you are God's child when you are covered by the blood of Jesus there's nothing that Satan can do to take you out unless God gives Satan that permission unless it's your time unless you you're not doing something that God has asked you to do because it's not, it's not, you know, for, and, and going through it is not just for anything. We're not just going through it to go through it. We're going through a lot of that now because of the time that we are living in. The season that we are in. <clears throat> We've heard our, our grandparents and great-grandparents say for years, we're living in our last and evil days. We are truly in that time now and so this is the reason why a lot of us are going through that as Christians is because we need to know what the what the enemy is doing we need to know how that how that feel what it looks like so that we can intercede for others to break the stronghold of Satan so that we can also uh, learn to not be affected by it anymore and and really it's not us learning to not be affected 
but us learning to rely and rest in God so that he can fight that. Because remember, it's not our battle. It's the Lord's. But he need us to be still and rest in him so that he can work through us to destroy that power. Which we already know the victory has already been won. It's already been won. Satan knows the end. But Satan is what we call a hater. Because Satan wants to be like God. And so because he can't, he's still taking his anger and frustration out on those who are following God. He do not want you to get to that glorious place where he once was and got kicked out. He wants you to suffer like he's suffering and like he know he going to rest in, in total damnation for the rest of his life. He, he gone. You, he'll never step his foot in God's glory again. So he want to take down any and everyone that he can. And for those who are being a part of witchcraft, shame on you. Because who wants to feel hate and anger and frustration and jealousy all the time? Oh gosh, I just cannot even imagine living a life like that. Being so hateful and jealous of somebody, I'm going to spend all my time trying to take you down. I'm going to spend all my time trying to make things bad for you because I see everything is going good for you. I see that you keep getting back up and, you know, your spirit just keep prospering and keep soaring. That has to be miserable within itself. Because I think about as I was going through that oppression I did not like that feeling I hated that feeling I, I truly did I hated it so much this is where the anger come from I wanted to fight the people um so my encouragement is cry out to Jesus and just know too that I am praying for you. I may not know you personally. You may not know me. But I am praying for you. To continue to pray to God. To continue to cry out to him with all the pain and hurt and the frustration and anger that you're going through with dealing with this dark oppression. With the spirit of the Antichrist. With <clears throat> Satan's imps. With Satan worshipers. And see, and this is another thing that God brought to my mind too. Um, they're trying to say, you know, uh, witchcraft is a religion, right? Well, if witchcraft is a religion, why do you have to hide it? What kind of religion sits here and tries to kill people? God is a God that he, he wants to increase. He wants us to grow. He wants us to prosper. That's not what witchcraft wants. Witchcraft wants to kill you off. So if you kill off the whole world, where's life? It's crazy. It's stupid. It's psychotic. And even the more that I think about it, anyone who is serving Satan, you have to have some type of mental issue going on with you to serve Satan. Something seriously has to be wrong with you mentally. That makes no sense. Some of the stuff that I've heard from some people who have, you know, indulged in that. You're hurt, so you try to hurt somebody else. But what they say is, it still did not make them feel better. Yeah, they got a laugh or something because they seen that. Okay, yeah, they, they you know, putting the pressure on you. <clears throat> but it did not make them feel better. So what sense does that make participating in something that's really not giving you a real reward? Because I guarantee you, if you try Jesus, that joy, oh, that love, oh my goodness, that sweet, sweet 
presence that you feel, you will never ever go back to darkness again. Because nothing on this world, nothing in this world can take the place of that joy that God gives you. It's a joy that I've been saying for years, a phrase that I, this is what I say. The joy that God gives you, no man can give to you and no man can take it away. And that's the part for those who serve Satan don't understand that we will continue to prosper. We will continue to grow no matter what they do. You can delay things for a moment. You can stop things for a moment. And it's only for a moment. It's, it's temporary. You cannot stop what God has for his children. Because if, if it is happening to us, God is allowing it. There's nothing that Satan can do to God's children without his permission. Go read the book. Go read the story of Job. Satan had to ask God for permission. To sift Job. And one of the conversations that Satan had with God was because he said, oh, okay, well, yeah, he he's uh, uh, standing strong because you got your hedge of protection around him. Take your hedge of protection off. Listen to the hate and jealousy. Take your hedge of protection off of him. I bet you he deny you. I bet you he, he, he fold. But guess what? God took that hedge of protection off because he knew the value of who he is as a God. He knows that he's the king of kings, the Lord of all lords. He knows that he is the only power in this world. Okay? From everything that we have, everything that we see and don't see came from our creator, God himself. So he was so confident in Job that he took the hedge of protection off and Job proved him right. Job did not fall. He did not, you know, uh, uh, didn't want to start to follow Satan or do the things that Satan, you know, uh, wanted him to do, which is to, you know, hate God and turn away from him. So another thing for you all that's going through the oppression from the satanic world, read the book of Job. I had to read Job so many times, like back to back to back to back for encouragement for me at one time, at, at the season, at that time of season that I was in. I needed to, to hear, you know, um, about Job and what he did and his stance. For the kingdom of heaven. Daniel also. I had to keep reading uh, Daniel. And then after Daniel. I went to go read and study. The book that Daniel read. Over and over. Which was Jeremiah. <clears throat> so. I love you all. I'm praying for you. I'm praying that every dark force that is against you be annihilated by the power of the Holy Spirit. I pray that the blood of Jesus covers you, your home, and everything that belongs to you. Your children, your family, your finances, your spirit, your mind, and your soul. Continue to keep your eyes on Christ. For his word says, if you keep your mind stayed on me, I will keep you in perfect peace. In perfect peace, he will give you. Stay in your ground. Don't let the enemy take you down. God loves you and he's rooting for you. And so am I. Have a blessed day, you guys. No matter what, have a blessed day. And it will be all right.